called Timothy Frog here, and I've got a really great story to tell you today. It's called The Muppet Musicians of Bremen. And in case you were wondering, Bremen is a little town in Louisiana, about four miles north of Gogolala. Now, the story is all about a donkey named Leroy, T.R. the Rooster, and Rover Joe and Cat Cut. Matter of fact, they're the ones playing that music. There they are, a really happy bunch of folks. Of course, they haven't always been happy. They used to be sad. And you know why these animals used to be sad? Because they used to work for these guys here. You may have noticed that the heroes in our story are all animals and the villains are all people. I hope none of you take that personally. Anyway, here's our story. So here we are at the beginning of the story. Mordecai Sledge and his donkey Leroy are about to come home. Yeah, burn it and flunge it, I say. Get your crumbling bone heap. Now the fact is, Mordecai is the leader of a band of robbers, and he's just getting back from the railroad yard where he and his friends have been stealing stuff out of boxcars. That was a giddy up, not a whoa, you scrawny devil. I want to get home. Uh, hold on. We is home. Whoa, you gullet freep snort lunger. It's hard to understand what Mordecai is saying sometimes, and I think that's a good thing. Anyway, now that the story has started, I'll just be on my way. Have fun. I'm surprised the crub shuckle donkey got home tout falling down. <laughs> <laughs> that was your fault. What was my fault? I was asleep. Uh, now, let's see. This looks like a fine mess of stealing we did. <laughs> sure was fun whipping this stuff out of that box car when the guard wasn't looking. The guard wasn't looking because they stuffed him into a drain pipe. Didn't have time to see what we were stealing, though. Hope it's jewels and stuff. What the clunge is this? A drum? Or what you're calling banjo? This junk is no good. I don't believe it. We just stole a whole shim shaman garsnarkered orchestra. This junk ain't worth nothing. It's all your fault, Leroy. My fault. Get this Jim Junkle Devil horn out of here! <laughs> Who put that crawl snarkle tree there? Leroy, if you could pull a wagon faster than a hog can waller in slops, we could have found some good stuff to steal before the guard got unstuffed from the drain pipe. Actually, I was on the guard's side. You were about as much good to me as a pot with an old bottom. It's time for you to retire. Retire? <laughs> I'd love to retire. I'm gonna get me my gun and retire you proper! But not that way. Now where the snow glutzen is that tall prepping gun? Oh, there it is. Before he gets a chance to retire me, I just think maybe I'll quit. Okay, Leroy! This is it! Ah! Put down that devil horn! Blush it anyway, you jickle fresh way back! What the swag? Well, 
Well, this rips her. Here I am on the road to nowhere. No roof to sleep under, no oats to eat. I'd give old Mordecai 18 years of hard work. And what have I got to show for it? Well, you got that wagon. Who said that? I did. Hey, I didn't tell you I was in the story, too, did I? Well, I am, but just for a little bit. Hey there, Mr. Frog. Hey, yourself, Mr. Donkey. I said at least you got that there wagon there. Oh, yeah. I got the wagon, and it's mighty hard pulling, I can tell you. I suppose. But you got that there, uh, what you call, uh, tuba, too. You mean this big kind of twisty funnel thing? I don't even know what it's for. Oh, it's for music. Music? How do you play it? Well, I just uh, blow good and hard into the small end there. You're kidding. No, go ahead and give her a toot. OK, but I feel like a jackass. Well, that kind of figures. Very good. What do you mean, good? That weren't music. That were honking. Well, yeah, that's true enough, but you got to do a little melody like, you know, like, uh, a boop, boop, ba da ba bum bum you know, kind of a doo doo Hey, I, I think I got ya. Let me try. Hey, now you're getting it. was great. Quit your kidding now. You're really a traveling musician, aren't you? Who, me? Nah. Well, you should be. Everybody would like to hear you play that horn. They would? Why, sure. There must be a million donkeys in the world, and I bet you're the only one who can play the tuba. Yeah. Why not? I could be a traveling musician. Why, why I might even go to some of the big cities, like Bremen or Gokalala, and, and wherever I go, I can, I can play for folks. I'll, I'll play for the farmers and villagers and the townsfolk, and, and they'll give me things to eat and places to sleep at night, and they'll just love me all to crazy. Yee-haw! I'm a traveling musician! <laughs> A tuba playing donkey. A banjo picking chicken. Hee haw, hee haw. Cock a doodle, cock a doodle. We're, We're the, the only two. two. What is that? Look, over there. Hey there, hound dog. What you doing that for? Because I'm sad. Yeah, well, we kind of figured you sad. But why? Because I'm old. I'm beat up. I'm worn away. And I'm throwed out. That's mighty sad, all right. Who throwed you out? Mean Floyd. Why'd Mean Floyd throw you out? Because I'm old. I'm beat up. I'm worn away. Yeah, yeah, we got that part. How'd it happen, though? Well, it was last night. Whew, we had a wicked piece of weather around these parts last night. An old mean Floyd, he don't care much for wicked weather. It's storming some tonight. It's a bad night out there. There's ghosts walking out there, I bet you. Ghosts are coming up out of the ground, waiting for a body. I can, I can hear the ghosts breathing. Look at that. There's a ghost. There's a ghost behind that there bed there. Rover Joe. Rover Joe, you old hound dog. Hey, get this ghost, boy. Rover Joe? Oh, his dang dog is gone. Get out, you ghost. Get. Get. Ow! Oh! <laughs> ah! 
Chucked me out into the rain and the night. Did you see any ghosts out there? Not unless you two fellers is ghosts. Heck no. We're just traveling musicians. Off to seek our fortune and go to Bremen Town. Boy, I wished I could do something like that. Well, fry my feet and call them drumsticks. Why don't you join us? Oh, you wouldn't want me. I'm old, I'm beat up, I'm worn away. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that don't matter none. We're all old. Why, you're as welcome as garbage in a pig pen, Rover Joe. Come on and join us. Oh, you fellers is so nice. Thank you. No thanks needed, Rover Joe. Uh, by the by, how are you with the trombone? Uh, I I I'm very good with a ham bone. Uh, yeah, well, uh, if you practice a little bit, I think you'll see the difference between the two of them. Hop aboard the wagon, Rover Joe. You can practice while you ride. <laughs> Playing on my shiny, slidey kind of thing that has a funny name, sort of like Hambone. Boys got away with the lyric. Well, you look at that. Ain't that sad now? It's a lady cat and she's dead. No, I ain't. You ain't? You sure look like a lady cat. She means she ain't dead, Rover Joe. Uh, ain't no mind to him, ma'am. There ain't too much hay in his loft, if you know what I mean. There's no hard feelings, honey. And call me Cat Gut. Well, hidey, Miss Cat Gut, ma'am. Uh, what you doing sitting around this spooky old graveyard? Fact is, I may not be dead, but I'm waiting to die. And you boys might as well leave me alone. Aw, oh, don't say that, ma'am. Why, we is traveling musicians, and we'd be mighty pleased to... Sorry, donkey, honey. Old Cat Good ain't interested in no musicians no more. I done sung my last song. Well, come on, boys. No use arguing. Well, now everybody left me. And I'll soon be dead and gone. I said everybody left me. And I'll soon be dead and gone. Oh, your ever-loving cat guy. She done sung her last song. What's that I'm hearing then? Oh, gosh, Miss Lady Cat, don't talk about dying like that. Oh, you boys are sweet. But you know a cat kind of likes to die in private, if you know what I mean. Well, come on, Rover Joe. Lady's got her rights. Well, now no one care about the story. The story I Listen, could we, tell. Listen, we care about the Dagnab story. Now, will you tell it to us? Well, honey, if you're gonna be like that about it, I will. At last. Eyes all ears, ma'am. Yes, indeed. Boys, I have come on hard times. Still, I guess I'd be all right today if I hadn't made friends with the rats. You made friends with rats? That's right. You see, ever since I was a little bit of a kid, I done lived in this great big old house. 
An old house owned by a man named of Caleb Siles. I spent about eight and a half of my nine lives out in Caleb's pantry. Come on, Ez, let's nip on over and get us a piece of that sausage. What about old lady Catgut? I figure if we go real quiet, she won't hear us. <laughs> Hi, boys. Here's the sausage you're wanting. Well, well, what's happening? I, mean, I don't know. Maybe a bag bag ga 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 gasket come loose in her think bucket. Okay, boys, come on out. I got a word to say to you. Come on now. I know you're there. Now get out here, all of you. Fellas, I just want you to know that from now on, this pantry is yours. What'd you say? Huh? The old girl's got weevils in her wig box. <laughs> I've been chasing you for 13 years. I just ain't up to it no more. <laughs> What's the matter, boys? No offense meant, Miss Catgut, but how do we know we can trust you? Now, why shouldn't you be able to trust me? I'm a critter just like you. It's that mean old Caleb Siles you can't trust. I fought the fight for 13 years, working for that Caleb Siles. I chased the rats for 13 years, and love her, baby, that's a while. In all that time, old Caleb Siles never give me nothing. And if I left a rat around, he knock out all my stuffing. I know my friends, I know my foes. I know my joys and I know my woes. I know old Caleb's mean as ice. And I know all you rats is kind of nice. You gotta know your friends, boys. You gotta know your friends. Let the lion lay down with the lamb let the tiger frolic with the ram let the mighty hawk befriend the dove let people fight let critters Just waiting to die. Well, find my beak and call me tongue-tied. That is some story. But you can't just sit here and wait to die, Miss Lady Cat. What else is there for me? Well, let's put it this way. Can you play a trumpet? Are you kidding? I'm on the road. 
to somewhere, got my trumpet along with me. I'm on the road to somewhere, it's a lovely place to be. We're on the road to fortune, we're the only four around. We can swing out old man music with a wailing glory sound. French bacon chicken. A trombone huffing doggy. A trumpet puffing kitten. Yeehaw, yeehaw. Meow, meow. Oh. Where's the huffing puffing playing bacon donkey cat and dog and chicken ball? Certain there ain't no food in the wagon? Not a speck. I wish this here trombone was a ham bone. It's just about supper time, ain't it? We should be finding them pretty soon. Who are we expecting to find, honey? Why, a family, of course. When they hear our music, they'll love us all to crazy. <laughs> Not much chance of that. If we find a family in this swamp, they'll be a family of alligators. No, ma'am. Why, somewhere around here, there's a lovely farm couple and a bunch of pretty children. And they'll invite us in for ham and sweet potato. Ham? <laughs> they got ham? Where is these folks? They ain't nowhere, honey. Oh, Leroy just made them up. Make it up again, Leroy. There's nice folks. A mother, a father, a daughter, a son, a family, together, the four of them one. They gather at evening to laugh and to pray. The light of their love can turn night into day. They meet us, they greet us, they share what they own. By sharing and caring, we'll not be alone. A family together, the four of them one. A mother, a father, a daughter, a son. Leroy, honey, that was sickening. Now well, face it, Leroy, we took the wrong road. There ain't a farmhouse for miles around here. Then what's that? Why, Jangles, it's a farmhouse, just like I said. It does look like a farmhouse. Yes, sir. That old family probably setting down to supper right now. Let's go! Well, yeah, well, maybe one of us ought to sneak down and check things out first. I'll go! After all, this is swamp country. I'll go! No one lives around here but ugly, mean thieves and robbers. He'll go! Who, oh, me? Well, sure, I'll go see what's down there, but I tell you, it's gonna be a lovely family. Fine, honey. Then you go and look him over and tell us all about it. Okay, I will. Well, here I is at the lovely family's house. Jangles, I, I'd hate to disturb them if they was eating supper. Maybe I'd better peek in the window first, just to make sure. Wouldn't you just know it? They got the shade drawn shut. W wait on now, I, I can see something. Something is going on in there. I sure wish I could hear. Meeting on the way. You ready, Caleb? Yeah. Hot pork? Uh, mean Floyd? 
tell you, Mordecai, we shouldn't be meeting like this in the swamp tonight. Burn it and clunge it, mean Floyd. We gotta split up the loot from the robbery. Well, tonight's a full moon, and the swamp demons is out for sure. You is a yellow belly coward, mean Floyd. Oh, yeah? Well, you just wait till a slime serpent slithers in here and bite you on the leg. You wait till then. Slime live. serpents. Ha. They ain't the swamp demons that scare me. Mm -hmm. It's those terrible flying bush bats I hate. Mm -hmm. That's nothing. Worst swamp demon of them all is the tree troll with his big wooden club. I always heard about the muck monsters with claws like razors and fire. Mm -hmm. oh. 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 That was just old garbage tummy here chawing on his carrot. <laughs> now, can we please get down to business? And will you stop all that dumb frabble eating? You got your hand in my pie. What the glotz black and furna camp got oh, the present? Let's get on with this. We got stuff from four different robberies to split up tonight. All right with me. Now, here's the money from the bank we hit over at Binder Springs. Let's see what we got. There they is, the lovely family at the supper table with the papa carving the ham. Oh, wait till I tell the others. And they just look like the loveliest family ever. Is you sure about the ham? The biggest dang ham I ever seen. I still don't believe it. I believe it. I believe it. Now, I tell you, this is swamp country. You gotta be careful. Rover Joe, you's all excited about this. Why don't you go down and have another look? Alone? I ain't afeard. Now that Leroy been down there once, You sure about the ham, Leroy, ain't you? Oh, you bet. I'll be right back. That's the family, just like Leroy said. Daddy's dishing out supper. OK, here's everybody's chair. <laughs> I hope you don't mind if I count mine myself. I just counted it. You did, didn't you? Think I'll count mine, too. We do. It's just like you thieving, sneaking cheats not to trust one of your own kind. Isn't it lovely, that beautiful family they say in grace? I'll go tell the others. There they was, just a praying away to beat anything. It was so beautiful. I told you, didn't I tell you? Do you believe all this? About as much as I believe a cow can lay eggs. Exactly. Let's you and me go down and have a look. Right. We'll find out what's really going on down at that house. All right. Let's get on to the next piece of business. Fine. Let's divide up that stuff we stole off a boxcar the other day. Oh, that stuff. Listen, uh, let's forget about that stuff. What do you mean, forget about it? Well, it weren't no good. Just a bunch of horns and junk. That doesn't sound so bad. We could maybe sell the horns. Yeah, we'll see them. Well, I, I, I don't have them. You don't have them? Uh, my donkey stole them. Your, Your donkey, donkey stole them? Oh, my God. Well, steal my gizzard and call me gutless. There really is a family. 
and they's up and dancing and singing around the table. And there's the mama giving her sweet little child a big love hug. It's all like you boys done said and better. That there is a home filled with love and happiness. Right now, TR stands for tender-hearted rooster. A mother. A father. A daughter. A son. A, a family. Together. together the, the four of them one. They gather at evening to laugh and to pray. The light of their love can turn night into day. The daddy is bold and determined and wise. While mommy is gentle with love in her eyes her brother's an imp with a cute little face and sisters an angel in ribbon and lace a mother a father a daughter a son a family Just to show what fine travel musicians we in. How do we do it? Why, we're going to play for this fine family. After that, they'll be so grateful, they'll invite us in. <laughs> they'll give us food and a place to sleep by the fire. Now, I'll tell you what. T.R., Cat Gun, you sneak around to the side door. Right. Me and Rover Joe will go up to the front door, and then we'll surround them with music. Great. When we're each ready, we'll give a call. Good. I'll bray. I'll howl. Oh, I'll crow. And I'll meow. And then we'll play old music fit to beat anything. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, this dang lock is stuck. Oh, what time's she getting to be, Caleb? Oh, oh, just coming up on midnight. Midnight? <laughs> We're in the swamp at midnight on a full moon. Oh, just shut up, Mean Floyd. Now let's finish up here and get home. I'm hungry. Yes, those are swamp demons. How's that? Well, along about midnight on a full moon, old swamp demons come a pawing and a clawing and a zuckering out of the mud and the bogs licking their shops and they're looking for supper. Well, uh, even so, we safe in the shack. All you know, old tree troll comes on <laughs> right through that door. Yeah, bush bats, too. <laughs> uh, maybe we better be careful. <clears throat> you all right there, cat gut, honey? Okay, darling, just tripped over this dumb dead branch, giving old girl a hand. Oh, sure thing. Come on, we gotta get to the side door. You know what that was? I sure do. Muck monsters. Slime serpents. 
tree trolls, bush bats, swamp demons. drove off the terrible robbers who were never seen again. Oh, I sure am glad those bad guys run off when they did, whoever they was. Yeah, but the nice family run off, too. Our beautiful family. I guess those bad guys scared them off. Well, they sure did leave a lot of stuff behind, though. Look at them hams and oats and corn and sweet taters. And sausages and bacon. Yeah, and that ain't all, honey. Look what else they left. They sure did leave a lot of stuff, all right. Somebody should really guard it all for them till they get back. Fine idea, Leroy. I know we kind of planned to be traveling musicians and see Bremen Town, but... Maybe we better stay right here instead and wait for our wonderful family. Fine. Let's stay, honeys. Besides, we make a pretty nice family ourselves. And you know, that's just what they did. 